today the topic of discussion is normalization of data and what we are going to study is question on 2nf prior to this video we have discussed what is second normal form and today in this video we are going to solve what are different questions on 2nf okay let's start so given a given a relation schema uh, r p q r s t and set of f d p q to r s to t determine that the given r is in 2nf or not if not then convert it into 2nf and determine number of table decompose so the table you have given a table you have given a table this and functional dependency this you have to determine that given table having this functional dependency is in 2nf or not if not then convert it into 2nf and determine number of table decompose that what will be the number of table that will be decomposed to form a table it, it is not 2nf okay let's start let's start how to solve this question first given p q r s and t and functional dependency given r p q to r and then s to t what you do is that you make a arrow diagram as i have already told you how to find candidate key your first task is to find the candidate key so p q to r p q to r then s to t then s to t now your job is to determine all those attribute which are not having arrow pointing towards it so if i see p p p is not having any arrow pointing towards it q is not having arrow r is having arrow t is having arrow s is also not having arrow so p q and s are attribute which do not have any arrow pointing towards it so definitely i don't know what will be my candidate key but the candidate key will have this attribute so let's find the closure of this attribute the closure of this attribute will be p q s and then use functional dependency okay then you have p q to r so you have here p q yes then you can write r over here fine okay then you have s yes then with the help of s you can write t so now the closure of p q s is determining all the attribute of a table so 100% candidate key is p q s p q s is a candidate key and only p q s is a candidate key because as i've already told you any of the superset of this candidate key will be a super key but not candidate key the definition of candidate key is what candidate key is a minimal super key fine so this is the minimal super key so in in the given table we have only one candidate key the candidate key is pqs so what are uh, prime what are so if i say what are prime attributes so the attribute which are part of key are prime attributes so pqs are prime attribute and what are non prime attribute uh, p r and t are non prime attribute non prime attribute so till now we have discovered this much that what as prime attribute what is non prime attribute so the, till now we have discovered discovered this much now the question comes now the question comes is this given table is in 2nf or not so what is the definition of 2nf 2nf says no non prime attribute should be partially dependent on key of a table that is if ab is a key of a table then if ab determines c then c should be fully dependent on ab that is ab should not get splitted that is a should not determine any attribute alone and b should not determine any attribute alone that means if ab is determining some attribute that is some non prime attribute that is non prime attribute should be should be fully dependent on key fine so this is not in 2nf this is not in 2nf fine okay so let's start uh, with the given fd so given fd is pq to r so our candidate key is pqs and what is r r is non prime attribute here the non prime attribute is dependent on what part of the key so this is not in 2nf this is not in 2nf so since what is 2nf that non prime attribute should be fully dependent on key of a table but the key is pqs and here we have part of a key so this this fd is not in 2nf so no need to check this fd if any of the fd if suppose there are 10 fd and out of 10 fd even a 1 fd is not falling a uh, second not so definitely no need to check further the entire table is not in 2nf so the so from this fd we came to know that this table is not in 2nf so finally what we understood that the given table is not in 2nf so uh, now we have three options no no and no yes 
yes is a false answer is this is determined the given r is in 2nf or not yes no it's not in 2nf so now no answer is correct but here we have three no answers now the second question is if this is not in 2nf then decompose it then decompose it and what will be the number of table which will get, which will get decomposed so let's start let's start with the decomposition so using fd using fd pq to r using fd pq to r pq to r so now make tables now i have make one table r1 which contains p q and r where pq is a key so pq to r now this table is in 2nf because now pq is a key so this entire r is dependent on pq the second table will be r2 from s2 t fine because second fd is s2 t second will be s2 t where s will be a key where s will be a key and s will determine t now always remember to make next table the last table for key of a table and the key of a table is pqs pqs so finally we have three tables that is one two and three so our answer is no the table is not in 2nf and if i'll decompose it i'll decompose it into three tables finally see the answer yes the answer is correct so the answer is no and three so finally we have uh, got the right answer no and three fine okay let's start let's start with a different question so let's start with a different question and the question is this so now you have a different question in front of you uh, the question is that uh, uh, determine this particular question is in second normal form or not that is given a relational schema r having following attribute p q r s t u v w x and y and set of functional dependency p q to r p s to v w q s to t u p to x and w to y determine that the given r is in 2nf or not if not then convert it into 2nf and determine number of table decomposed that is, is if this given table is in 2nf then fine just answer will be yes if answer is no then what are the different number of uh, tables that will be decomposed fine so let's start so uh, first of all our job is to what find our job is to find candidate key and candidate key we find using functional dependency and i request you to kindly watch my video on shortcut to find candidate key that will make this video more easier to understand fine so first functional dependency is pq to r p q to r fine then we have ps to vw ps to vw we have ps to v and w then we have qs to tu qs to tu qs to tu t and u fine okay then we have p to x then we have p to x from p you can determine what x from p to x fine and at last you have w to y then w to y w to y now with the arrow diagram you determine what are different attributes which are not determined or which do not have any arrow pointing towards them p is an attribute which is not having any arrow pointing q is an attribute which is not having any arrow pointing towards r is ha having arrow s is also not having any arrow pointing toward it T is having arrow, U is having arrow, V is having arrow, W is having arrow, X is having arrow, Y is. So, I don't know what will be my candidate key, but 100% the candidate key will have what? PQS as an integral attribute. Let's find the closure of PQS. So, closure of PQS will give you what? PQS. Fine. Now, you use this functional dependency to check. With the help of PQ, you can determine R. Do I have PQ? Yes. So what I can write R over here. Fine. With the help of PS, you can write VW. Do I have PS? Yes, I have P and S. So with the help of PS, I can write VW. VW. I'm finding closure. With the help of QS, do I have QS? Yes, I have QS. With the help of QS, what I can do? I can write TU. I am writing TU. With the help of P, do I have P? Yes, I can write X. I can write x with the help of w i can write the y do i have w yes i can write y so you can see that you can see that with the help of pqs you are determining all the attribute of a table so 100 percent pqs is a candidate key and only pqs is the candidate key why so because any of the superset of pqs because the candidate key will have pqs so a candidate key if we increase if we have superset of this key that will be a 
सुपर की दैट कैन नॉट बी अ कैंडिडेट की बिकॉज कैंडिडेट की इज अ मिनिमल सुपर की फाइन सो नाउ वी हैव अ कैंडिडेट की सो वॉट वॉट आर प्राइम एट्रीब्यूट द प्राइम एट्रीब्यूट वी हैव पी क्यू एस we have this prime attribute or what which are non prime attribute these all are non prime attribute why because the part of key the part of key the attribute which are part of key are prime attributes and the attribute which are not part of key are non prime attribute fine okay now let's start let's start uh, to solve the question that is this given question is in 2nf or not let's start okay so first of all we have pq to r okay so what is uh, definition of 2nf 2nf says 2nf says no non prime attribute should be partially dependent on key of a table that is no non prime attribute no non prime attribute should be should be partially partially dependent on dependent on key of a table on key of table fine that is if suppose my table has key ab and ab is determining c then this non prime attribute should be fully dependent on ab that is any of the non prime attribute should not depend like this that is x is suppose x is a non prime attribute it is depending partially on ab no that if suppose y is a non prime attribute it is depending on b that is key should not be divided in both the fd a, a to x and b to x key is dividing so this is not this is not in 2nf fine so we should not have this this kind of functional dependency okay so let's start let's check each of the functional dependency pq to r r key is what uh, what is r r is non prime attribute and non prime attribute should not be partially dependent on key what is key pqs and what is part of the key this is pq so this is partially dependent on key so this fd is not in 2nf so this fd is not in 2nf if one of the fd from the given fd is not in 2nf the entire table is not in 2nf no need to check further now let's check other also ps to vw so what is our complete key pqs and here we have only ps so this is a part of key and vw is non prime attribute so again this is also not in 2nf this is also not in 2nf let's see qs qs do qs qs is a part of key so this should this is again not in 2nf fine p yes p is a part of key p our entire key is pqs so this is also not in 2nf what about this y y is what nine non prime attribute and this is what w so is this in as this is this particular fd is in 2nf yes this fd is in 2nf because what is 2nf says that is non prime attribute should not be dependent on prime attribute so this is non prime attribute and this is also non prime attribute so if both are non prime attribute it is nowhere related with 2nf so this is in 2nf fine out of uh, while all other are not in 2nf so so our yes answer is correct or wrong this table is not in 2nf now you have to decompose a table so let's decompose the table so let's on what basis will decompose the table on the basis of functional dependency so pick each of the functional dependency one by one and start decomposing the table fine okay so all the functional dependency except this is not in 2nf so let's one will be r1 table will be r1 and function pqr so the table will have attribute p q r where p q will determine r and p q will become what candidate key second is r2 from p s to v w so p s v w where p s will determine v and w that is p s will become candidate key then r3 r3 is was q s to t u then q s t u fine and what qs is doing qs is determining what t u then we have r4 r4 is from p to x that is p comma x and p will determine x here p will become what candidate key fine so again now all the table are in 2nf this is also in 2nf this is now in 2nf this is now in 2nf this is in 2nf and r5 will be from w w y where w will determine why this is also in 2nf and i just told you one table will be for key what is key r6 key is pqs so one table will be for pq pqs so now we have total six tables so the correct answer is table is not in 2nf and number of table will be decomposed is six so the correct answer is 
Yes, the correct answer is no table is not in 2NF and the number of table will be decomposed is 6. Fine. Okay.